a tour of the solar system, the outer planets. Let's look at some basic information. There are four outer planets known as the gas giants. In order from the Sun, we have Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They are divided from the inner planets by the asteroid belt that is located between Mars and Jupiter. They have large atmospheres with solid cores. They all have rings surrounding them. And they have many planetary satellites or moons. Let's start our tour with Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest of the planets with a diameter of over 133,000 kilometers. It's fifth from the Sun with 5.2 astronomical unit distance and it takes 11.9 years to orbit the Sun. There's 79 planetary satellites at last count, the second most. And the red spot is a giant storm that three Earths can fit into. The atmosphere is mostly hydrogen and it's the shortest day, taking less than 10 hours. Moving on to Saturn. Saturn is the second largest planet with a diameter of about 109,000 kilometers. It's the sixth planet from the sun with a distance of 9.58 astronomical units, and it takes about 30 years to orbit the sun. It has the most planetary satellites at last count with 82. It's known mainly for its rings. The atmosphere is mostly made up of hydrogen, and it takes about 10 and a half hours to make one rotation. Next stop, Uranus. Uranus is roughly half the size of Saturn, with a diameter of about 50,000 kilometers. It's the seventh planet from the Sun, with a distance of 19.22 astronomical units, and it takes about 84 years to orbit the Sun. There are 27 planetary satellites surrounding it. It gets the coldest of all the planets, but is overall warmer than Neptune. It does retrograde rotation and spins on its side, and it takes about 17 hours to make one rotation. Finally, last stop is Neptune, the smallest of the outer planets with a diameter of about 50,000 kilometers. It's the eighth planet from the Sun with a distance of about 30 astronomical units and takes about 165 years to orbit the Sun. It has 14 planetary satellites surrounding it. It gets its blue color from the methane gas it has. It has some of the strongest winds ever recorded and it takes about 16 hours to make one rotation. We are learning more information about the outer planets and their planetary satellites with our satellites we sent into space years ago. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.